What's up everybody and welcome back. It's the NBA fanatic Johnny P and today we want to talk about advertising on NBA jerseys. I don't know if I want it or not so I've been just sitting here thinking about the pros and cons and I want to see what you think about it because you have to let me know. Tell me in the comments section after you watch this video let me know where do you stand on the subject. So here's the thing there's pros there's cons we're gonna try to figure it out. Um, I mean you gotta ask the basic questions like would it just be a patch? Is it going to be a huge logo? I highly doubt it's going to be a huge logo. It's probably just going to be something small. Um, instead of selling advertisements on the jerseys, what if we just did the courts? Maybe a couple feet by a couple feet um, on the court somewhere. We could sell that space or maybe we should let the players decide. I mean, they're the ones wearing the outfits and the uniform. So, I mean, there's a couple of questions I had, but let's look at the pros. I mean, first you're talking about more revenue uh, for the league. Let's be honest, this is a business. First and foremost, this is a business. So the teams and the league, they're gonna look at what money can we bring in. And obviously, selling a small patch for a million dollars, $10 million, whatever it may be, on a logo, depending on the size of the market, that's some extra money. And money in their pockets is exactly what they're looking for because again, this is a business. Um, the second thing is it might be a pro is that the jerseys and the shorts, they'll just have more flair more visual um, flash I guess you could say when you look at like NASCAR I mean those those cars are just I mean they're decked out in corporate sponsors now granted there's not there's a lot of action in NASCAR I guess but it's kinda repetitive the entire time so maybe they just enjoy having that flair to look at I don't necessarily think the NBA needs that there's a lot of I mean obviously it's back and forth back and forth but it's a lot of different things going on so I don't necessarily think it needs that flair and that flash but however some people might like that on the jerseys um the if you look at the WNBA like right now I'm watching a WNBA game it's a Tulsa Shock versus the Dream and the Tulsa Shock actually has a corporate sponsor on their jersey and it's actually pretty tasteful you can't really tell it's there unless you're really looking um, I'm not into the NBA too much it's something I'm trying to get into just so I can learn more about the teams and the players um, you can't really tell it's there now if they zoom in you yes you do see it it is very legible um, but it, I don't think it takes away from the rest of the jersey and they actually kind of look neat I guess you could say but I don't know if I want it there or not but it is tastefully done and I think if they uh, if the NBA goes through and decides to take advertising on like this on the jerseys which I kind of feel is inevitable I hope they do it in the fashion that the WNBA is doing now um one thing you may have missed because I'll admit I missed it too is this year's dunk contest Zach Levine tore it up but while he was jumping through the roof not too many people noticed that he had a Sprite slam dunk um, patch on his shoulder. Now, Sprite. We all know Coca-Cola is a big uh, advertiser in the NBA. So to see a Sprite logo on his jersey, I didn't even notice it there. So that's good. I thought to myself, well, wow, wait a second. I mean, if that was already there and I didn't even notice it, what harm does it do? But that also kind of goes back to one of the cons I wrote on my list. That if I didn't even notice a Sprite logo was there and I overlooked it, why do we need it in the first place? Because if you're paying to have your logo on an NBA jersey, don't you want people to see that logo and recognize that it's there? Personally, I didn't. I didn't see it there. So it's just kind of one of those things, did it actually, was it worthwhile for Sprite in the NBA to go through that? I mean, it was a good test, but personally, I didn't even notice it either way. Um, one of the reasons why I do not want this to happen is this is a huge reason for me I don't want the NBA to look very corporate I don't like that I see when you are wearing an NBA jersey yes you represent the team you represent an organization but more so you represent a fan base that supports you and when I watch my Cavaliers play or when I watch the Hornets play I feel like they represent me and my beliefs and my dreams and the way I work hard I feel like they represent me when they go out and win I feel good about that so to see corporate America leaking onto those jerseys just kind of cheapens the experience for me and I don't like that um, I don't want to feel like they're taking away from just the sacred uniforms that have been around for years and years now you go back a couple decades ago you didn't see advertisements on jerseys and I almost kind of want to keep it that way um, so, when you take a guy like LeBron, 
he is the face of the NBA. Guys like Kevin Durant, those people, they, they are the NBA. You see them everywhere. So I want LeBron to be the face of the NBA. I don't want him to be a walking billboard. When I look at, you know, when I watch LeBron play on TV, I don't want to see a Samsung logo all over. I mean, I want to see that Cavaliers logo going up and down the court. And that's what I want to see. I don't want it to cheapen the experience. I don't want to see these guys turning into billboards, just being little pawns in this game of money that we know is there. So that's kind of my opinion. Again, I'd love to hear what you think about it because maybe you could think of something that I'm not. Maybe you could think of reasons that we should have them. Maybe you think of reasons that we should not have them. Either way, let me know down below in the comment section. This is the NBA Fanatic Johnny P. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you next video. Bye-bye.